Hi guys and girls, you'll recall we're doing this question in our Head Start program, question four, where we look at the uh, frequency table showing the speeds of cars recorded by police that are travelling through a 60 zone. You can see here we've got grouped or classed intervals. Okay, so 50, speeds of 50 to 51.9. There were three cars recorded at that particular speed from 52 to 53.9. There's five, etc. Now we need to make a histogram for this particular data and we had some difficulties originally in class doing histogram for group data. First of all, you put your data into the calculator. So I've made a column midpoint. So 51 effectively represents the midpoint from 50 to 51.9. Effectively 50 to 52. I've chosen 51 as my midpoint. Now, I've got every one of these bits of information here. So there was a midpoint of 51. Three vehicles were recorded having a midpoint speed of 51 with their group data. And we go right through to the final group, which was 75 um, as the midpoint speed. So once we've got that data in, it's simply enough to hit Menu, Data, Summary Plot. Now for the X, we're taking our midpoint scores, our midpoint here, sorry, in column A. And for our summary list, we're taking, as we've got there, the frequency. I'd like to open this up on a new page. And there's my histogram that caused us all the problems last week. Um, now you'll notice this really doesn't look like it's going from 50 to 52 in the first particular um, bar of our histogram. And so I'm going to fix that up. I'll go to Menu, Plot Properties, Histogram Properties, and Bin Settings. Now we want a width of 2 because each one of those groups or intervals were 2. But I want to start this at the very, very first um, alignment of 50. If we remember we go back to our original document. 50 was the very, very first, um, the lowest score in our our group interval or our data group. Okay, so I'm going to have a width of 2 on each one of my um, columns and an alignment starting at 50. Now as you can see our data goes from 50 to 52, centered around 51. Our second set of data goes from 52 to 54, centered around 53 and so forth. And the corresponding frequencies are shown on the vertical axis. I hope that helps. Thank you.